Taco Pikachu. One of Pikachu's, uh... So Pikachu has, like, a lot of even evenish matchups. But, like, I think this is, like, one that's on the worst end. Um, he just gets comboed so easily by Falco. Yeah, Falco, like, super destroys Pikachu when it comes to just the combo game. And also, like, Falco's pressure on Pikachu is pretty solid. Right. But if you're pretty proficient with the up air sp uh, tail spikes, you can, like, destroy Falco's recovery. Yeah, it, it's like you make up for it. But, like, you know, sometimes you don't want to rely on Gimps as, like, a means of winning, winning a matchup. Yeah. Um, but Pikachu has solid kill power. He has a stronger up smash than Fox, and he can easily combo into it through, uh, through up throw. Right. Um, on certain stages, like, you know, he has, like, the chain grab and stuff, and that builds percent. But uh, he, he's got, like, his moves do so little damage. Really good at going up there. Yeah. Um, in that situation, uh, you just run up down air. Just beat every low option. Down air has, like, a fairly disjointed hitbox, so, yeah. like, you won't trade with fire or, like, really get messed up by it. And even if you do, uh, he's at, he was at 14% at the time. And Pikachu has amazing recovery anyway. Yeah. So you can recover from, like, the... Pretty much from the hourglass of Battlefield. Fairly... Fairly easy, to be honest. One of the things we saw there just now was a really early shield poke. He shined him pretty much twice in the second one shield yeah. poke. Yeah, because the shield is like super, uh, it's super small. It's like probably up there with like. No, it's the smallest in the game. It's the smallest in the game. It's the smallest in the game. Um, he has he actually has the worst shield in the game. Worse than Pichu. Worse than Game Watch. Yeah. Um, it's just the shield health, or it's the health. It's how big it is. It's just like an all around awful shield. It's really funny. I, I love I love giving that tidbit of information all the time too. Yeah, my Pikachu, favorite Pikachu shield is fairly bad and Falco is really good at um, converting off the shield pokes because his, his combo sends you upward so even if he like spans like shield pressure because he doesn't react to like getting the shield poke he can just pretty much follow up off of it if then shine. Great up smash. Um, I like that P2 is holding uh, down a lot here. Falco is uh, pretty susceptible to getting crotch cancelled even his down air. That was a pretty tight bear. Right. Oh, I wanted to see a grab there and maybe an up there tech chase on the platforms. He was trying oh. to bait out a spot dodge, but uh, he got shield dropped instead. Yeah. So. Don't really have to shield drop when you can just dip out of there. No, don't I have mean, to spot dodge when spot you can dip dodge. out of there. Yeah. Um, hopefully P2 noticed that. He's like, all right, Ooh, well, he nice. can... Dash back bait and thunder. That won't kill, but it adds a lot of damage and um, leads Falco to uh, grab the ledge. Yeah. Chico's going to... Goon's going to recover uh, center stage, though. P2 on the edge. Wow. Wow, you don't really see, like, traditional Pikachu's, like, approach with Thunder, uh, the neutral B, the Thunderbolt, I believe. Yeah. Because it's, it's, like, not even good. It's not even good. You can crouch cancel it. And also, Jeff? like, uh -huh. the cooldown of it is, like, very long. Like, Pikachu and, uh, herself is, like, left in a lot of lag after shooting, shooting that. You usually see that when, um, you're gimping spaces or, like, sniping recoveries. Nice, uh, read on the rollback. Notice the... Go, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. All right, I was, I was going to say, I noticed you used the female pronoun for Pikachu. I think it's a she. I, I, I have no clue. I, just I also it. think it's a she, even though it's absolutely not. People people argue me, with me all the time about this. I definitely think Pikachu's a girl. Alrighty, so P2 takes that very convincingly. Three stocks. Um, good counterpick stages for uh, Goon here would be either Dreamland or FD. Actually, no, not FD. No. Not FD. I uh, think uh, the two. Yoshis. I was yeah, gonna say Dreamlander Yoshi's. Um, like, and it, it's weird because um, Pikachu when she back throws you on Yoshi's, it's really bad. Yeah. It's pretty much wherever you are on the stage, you're always gonna go off stage. Right. It's like Ryu or Ken's like back throw. So. This stage, you really want to prioritize um, getting getting Pikachu above you and just struggling. Constantly. I think you also want to keep more center stage than he's doing. Oh. Nice. Oh, I should have been up tilt. The dash attack can work though. Nice. He he recognizes that um when you down throw on platforms and you're near the edge of them, people can actually slide off and not have to get uh, in the tight situation of like a, uh, a mix up, whether you take a place or roll or get up attack. I feel like those were two kind of like not great angles. Um, it's good on P2 for, like, capitalizing on them anyway, but I, I would have liked to say, like, a Mewtwo King angle or a, yeah. a, uh, a Mangle, even. It's really hard to, like, 
get past Pikachu's edge guarding though. Like F tilt and Thunderbolt and down air and up air. Yeah, he can just like uh, keep resetting you. Like even even if you get the good angle, Pikachu can just reset you and then like just wait for the easier like um, up the height to uh, edge guard. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Me Seeks was uh, talking in the in the chat about Pikachu's grab, which is also like really bad. I think it might be the third worst in the game. Yeah. The, pretty much what Pikachu has going for a neutral is that she's really fast on the ground, and her neutral air is like very fast and long lasting. And she has like a Marth S down tilt, but not that good. You can't really convert off of down tilt, but it's good for like setting up pokes and stuff. Yeah. And yeah. while her nair is like her best move and stuff, it's like. Once people realize, like, oh, I'll just crouch cancel it, like, you have to be super good with your, your nares. The way you see Axe uh, approach people, he almost always overshoots because um, even when he hits people with the nair, he's not exactly safe. They could be crouch canceling and he lands behind them and immediately inputs a, a full hop up air. Yeah. I mean, the move does, like, 3%, I think. So, very, very weak move. The full hop afterward. Full hop uh, up air afterwards sets up for really nice juggles, especially in spaces. Up throw up smash. He looks like he's not going to go for the chain grab or a platform tech chase. He's I've just going for straight damage and stage control. Yeah, when I was playing him in friendlies before, I was like, yo, like, try, try to do the thing on me. Um, he didn't seem too super proficient at it. I think it's probably because he just doesn't do it in friendlies at all, but... The, uh, the chain grab? Yeah. Mm, interesting. Cool. I don't even know off the top of my head if that's good DI or not on the back throw because it does send really far and at a pretty terrible angle. Yeah. And like it's scaling with percent is like so it's like a it's just like a super good throw. Probably one of the best throws in the game. I think all the Pikachu's throws are like super good. Except for down throw. Except for down throw. You know if you down throw Marth, you can up be out of it. Yeah. I didn't know. <laughs> Rohit knew. <laughs> How did Rohit know? I don't know dude. Well, down smash, that, not the best, um, not the best, uh, choice, especially when Goom was missing a jump. He could have maybe walked a little forward and F-tilted off stage to just try to push him off with no jump. So this Dreamland pick is kind of working against him. You know, we wanted to see a little more of a patient Falco play, but he's playing a little too much near the edge, and that's what really led to his, uh, deficit. Yeah, he's just playing without, uh, stage positioning in mind at all. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, sometimes people just, uh, when they're not super great yet, they, they don't really think about stage positioning all the time. They fight everywhere. Yeah. As, as like, they, it's not that they fight everywhere, it's they fight everywhere in, like, thinking in mind that, like, they're not in a bad position. Yeah. That they should be attacking or defending. Because, like, when you're, when you're in center stage, you probably shouldn't be defending if, if you have someone in the corner. You should be, like, putting on pressure and, like, trying to bait things out. But, like, when you're in the corner, you probably shouldn't be making a forward approach. It's very easy to uh, cover cover that kind of area. But we're seeing a tiny bit of a comeback here. D2 on the edge. Yeah, this is getting a little bit better. Oh, down smash. Do not yeah, don't jump, jump out of Pikachu's down smash. It will send you super high in the air. Or don't do it, like, immediately. Like, think best, about it first. Best way, best way to get out of Pikachu's down smash is just hold up. You fly right out. You fly out before the move ends, so like you can get on a platform.